two in the morning. I'm in PJs. And I've been meaning to do this for probably a couple of days, maybe a week or two by now. I just wanted to do an update video. Um for the few of you who join this channel because of my movie reviews or sequential arts fan dub. Um first of all, I am so sorry. So sorry. Uh, um, first sequential art people. First of all, thank you for staying. Very much so. It is appreciated. Two, thank you for your patience. And even more, thank you for your patience. Three, what the fuck's going on with them? Here's the thing. I may have mentioned at some point that it's three main people, literally in three different countries, that come together to record that. Me in the USA, my friend Kenny in Canada, who does the voice of Pip, and my fiancé, Dan, who plays Art in England. Now, me and Kenny are in the same time zone. That's not the problem so much. The problem is boyfriend in England, who's five hours ahead of me, so, like, noon on the East Coast here is 5 p.m. in England. Kenny has a job. And he doesn't get out till late sometimes. He might not get out until like 8 or 9 or 10 o'clock at night, I think. And of course he wants that hour or two to rest and then he'll fuck with me doing the recordings. But what I like to do is get all three of us together on Skype and do the strips um, together. That way I feel it gives a natural reaction and bounce. And I'm starting to think I sound tired. And I just think it gives a better flow uh, to the performances. So I'm very picky about that. And since I am the director, what I say goes. Um, because I want to give you guys, even though this is something for fun, I want to give you guys a quality performance because the strip deserves it. And I'm a fan as well. So, um, what I plan to do with sequential art is, as many of you probably know, uh, I am still working to bring Dan here on the fiancé visa so we can get married. His interview date is January 23rd. Yes, this January 23rd at, like, 8 in the morning, 9 in the morning. I am nervous as hell and paranoid and so scared. There is no reason he will be denied, but you have to be realistic and know that technically that's a possibility. I, uh, anyway. So the plan is, he will be approved. He will come home before Valentine's Day, if there is any type of deity looking out for me, and my sanity. And after Dan has settled in and readjusted to the time difference, to the culture difference, um, and, and him and I find our new routine with each other and my brother, uh, I plan for us to start doing sequential art again, and hopefully, hopefully on a much more regular basis, because then at the worst of it, I just have to, you know, get the timing right with Kenny. But Dan will be here, the time will be better, and that should be good. So that is the plan with sequential art. I would love to tell you a when that will actually come up, but I can't. I'm sorry I can't, but I can't. Um, that was the other thing. Movie reviews. I am so fucking sorry. I really, really am. I did not do one for November, and I was going to do one for the holidays. I have no fucking idea what I was going to do for December or January. And I felt really happy because... I'll admit, Joy, you know what, mm, I blame Joyride. Joyride kind of threw me off, because... <sighs> what I do is I re-watch the films. Most of these are films I know, because I've seen so many films so many times. Most of these are films I know. Joyride was a film I know. I thought, you know what, it's different for a Halloween movie, because it's not a slasher film. You know, it'd be something nice to show as a alternative to something bloody and gory, which is, well, a cliche at this point. But I found the movie kind of dull when I rewatched it, and I completely kind of fell out of it. I was bored 
editing it. I just wanted it done. I wanted it up. I wanted to be finished with it. I kind of really just got lazy and did not give a shit. Which, as all artists know, is a bad thing. When you're not enjoying what you're doing, you gotta take a break or change it. And I didn't change it because I wanted to get something up because so many times I have tried to become a reviewer because I do love film so much and I want to share that love with other people <sighs> and this shit happens. So Joyride started of it but I think kind of the nail in the coffin for a while has been um, you know everyday stress uh, a big chunk of it has been the fiance thing and that whole deal my god um, and also I'm not looking for sympathy when I say this. I'm just explaining. Uh, some of you may remember in previous videos as well that I have said that I suffer from postpartum depression. Um, no, I'm sorry. Mm -mm -mm. That's not wrong. That is so wrong. That is so, so wrong. Post-traumatic stress disorder. That is what I have. I have post-traumatic stress disorder from the death of my mother two years ago this month. And I have depression which I was diagnosed with about two years ago as well. Um, so how it's affecting me is that I completely lose any interest in stuff I like doing. I have not drawn, for the few DeviantArt people who may watch this, I have not drawn a fucking thing in months. And that sucks because I enjoy drawing it's fun and I have so many talented friends that when I see their artwork it makes me want to draw but I just I nothing comes out and it is so frustrating <sighs> so frustrating I hate it um so that's what's been going on and the only thing that has been consistent is the weekly diet vlogs which amazingly has as little as it may be, amazingly has an audience. And again, thank you all for the support and amazing love and support I give to the people who have actually felt uh, inspired to become healthier because of those vlogs. I never would have guessed that one coming. I've, I've said it a bunch of times that I probably do those more for myself than other people, but of course, if it can help somebody else, I am ecstatic about that one way or another. Because diets are frustrating as hell. You know, plus the every other day stress. I'm on disability because of my knees, and it, it pays the bills, but the holidays came, and I just feel really money tight right now, so there's that stress. There's the stress of when my fiancé gets here, and what bills will change, what's going to go higher. I'm pretty sure food's going to be the higher bill, which is expensive as enough as it is because the fucking diet. Ugh. Anyway, I'm trying to think what else did I bother putting up on this channel. Um, those are the things I tried to do, and I, I had enough of an audience with the movie reviews that I had one person rec um, request that I do Team America World Police, which I still want to do. It, it's not mm, its not that I've given up on doing them. It, I want to do them. It's just the, the fucking drive to get my ass to do it isn't there because of the fucking stress and anxiety and depression I feel on a fucking scale, I swear to God, it varies. It, it, I swear to God, I feel like I'm bipolar. It just, it feels like it's on and off sometimes. That and just the good old-fashioned being distracted by the internet or Minecraft. That reminds me, actually. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention of what's coming is I know there are a lot of Let's Players on YouTube, and I know there are many, many talented and funny and, and entertaining people. I personally am a fan of Markiplier. I like the game Grumps from time to time. Um, so what me and my fiancé have planned is a married Let's Play channel. Now I know that probably sounds a little confusing, but just to simplify it, what it's going to be is him and I together doing a Let's Play channel. It's going to be a completely different channel. Uh, it's not made yet. Him and I are still figuring out what we want to do. We're still even trying to figure out what we want to call it. I came up with Married to the Game. I thought it was playful. It told you exactly what's going on. 
you know, eh, it's a total ripoff of Mary to the Mob, which is a film I don't even think I've seen. So, but I thought it was fun. He's come up with a couple of suggestions. He's put up a poll on his DeviantArt, um, and my Mary to the Mob's in second place. So, but we got to do another poll because some people suggested some other versions, which were kind of interesting. So we'll see. Uh, what was our goal? Our goal was to have at least maybe one, t ideally, one to two videos a day. And Dan's looking forward to playing scary games. I don't like scary games. For the, fir the first fucking time I was in Minecraft and I hear the stupid zombies, I got freaked out. I didn't like it. But Dan feels my reactions to when I'm nervous or scared are hysterical. So, he wants to post that on the internet for all to enjoy. So, if you enjoy Let's Plays and you want to see me cry, <laughs> um, you know, or leave, just, uh, yeah, check that out. I'll be announcing when that channel is up and running, and uh, we are going to try and be very professional about this and stick to the goals we have intended for it, and hopefully... You know, we will do okay with that, and you guys will enjoy it and be entertained. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, uh, I don't know if anybody knows, but I am on Newgrounds as a voice actress, and I have been in a couple of projects, including one that I think is kind of popular on it right now One Night Stand at Freddy's. And I'll uh, put the link in the description. I play Chica. And I got picked up for a 3D erotic comedy hentai series called Stone Sorceress. I originally tried out for just an everyday character. They were full at the time. And then about two, three days later, they came back to me saying, how would you like to try out for the lead? And I got it. So I play the lead character, Sarah Slane. Now, again, this is a hentai series. So it is for 18 plus only, please. And I will leave their Patreon down in the description so you can check it out. Now, they did have a voice actress before me. So if you do join up, and I hope you do, um, episodes one and two are not me. Anything before episode three is not me. That is the previous actress. I come in from episode three to present. So everything from episode three up, me. Um, I have a lot of goals I'd like to accomplish with that series as well. Like, I would love it to get to a popularity where we get invited to a con, uh, a panel at a con and can meet fans like you guys and ask, you know, answer questions and stuff like that. Because I've always wanted to be on a panel and meet fans. That would be so cool. Um, just for the record, it's not this voice you would be hearing, so you don't have to worry about feeling weird. I do a different voice for her. I'm not going to tell you what it is, because I want you to go watch it. All age-appropriate people, of course. Um, so that's, um, that, that's, that's what's going on. And sadly, that is why there have been no other kinds of videos other than the diet vlog. I really, really, really hope I get my creativity back and uh you know get get that excitement get that spark and and get back into doing what i was enjoying you know doing the movie reviews and and showing you these films whether good bad or neutral how i felt about them but you know introducing you to a film that hopefully you haven't seen before and gave enough information that it got your attention that you're like you know what i'm gonna go check this out because the first one i did an innocent man Oh my god, I was on such a high. My friend Mike in England saw the review and it made him want to go see the film. He saw the film and he liked it. Ah, oh, I was on such a high. I, I That was like the best thing that could have happened uh, out of the reviews. And, and I loved that that happened. And I hoped... I hope that maybe that has happened with some of the other films for you guys. Because, like I said, whether I like them, I'm neutral about them, or I hate them. And that will happen. One day, hopefully, this year. Um, you know, I, I want to know that you guys saw it and what you thought of it. Especially Law Abiding Citizen. So, again, that is what's going on. That is what hopefully will be coming. 
And, uh, I, I really can't thank you guys enough for staying. I have, what, 750, 780 subscribers. I, I honestly get surprised when I get a new subscriber uh, email, uh, and I just go, why are they subscribing me? I don't put up anything. And I feel horrible that I don't put up anything. Oh, but I love you all so much, and thank you for subscribing and staying and just being amazing fucking people and I love you all so much. I'm gonna go because it's 2.15 in the morning now but I just I needed to tell you guys those updates. Ah! My screen! My screen! There we go. Uh, I, need, I needed to tell you guys what's going on and what I have planned and just to thank you so much for your patience, your understanding, and your support with everything. I love you all, and I wish you all the best, and, you know, just just keep being awesome, and uh, hopefully the depression and stress will die down enough that I can start doing stuff that I enjoy and entertaining you guys, which is what I love doing a lot. I've always wanted to entertain people, so I, I thank you again. I'm going to go before I just constantly keep saying thank you. Have a good night. And hopefully all of those things will be coming sooner than I think they will. Okay? Bye, guys.